Okay, how's it going everybody? We got another letter in the mail today. This one is from V.I. Lennon to L.B. Kamenev. This was written July 24th, 1912. Let's go ahead. Well, it says here, uh, Ruski Velomosti, Russian recorder, is a newspaper voicing the views of the moderate liberal intelligentsia. Founded in Moscow in 1863, beginning with 1905, it was the organ of the right wing of the Constitutional Democratic Party. The party was closed down in 1918 together with other counter-revolutionary publications. Let's go ahead and get into this. It says, Dear LB, we sent you Nevskaya Svevsta number 16 yesterday. We too were we too were exasperated in the in the extreme by number six of Nevsky Golos. And have already sent a letter of protest to Pravda. We are writing some more today for number 17 of Nevskaya Svesta. Party candidates must not be mentioned in the legal press. We can speak about them in CC leaflets and Raboshaya Gazetta. Moving here has given us so far, one, a gain of one day closer, two, the arrival of Abronchik, this is a secret, he is already there. It seems he will help us at the frontier, and perhaps this is still open to question, also with the St. Petersburg elections. Three, the hope of arranging a number of meetings, for this, too, are already on their way. If they are not arrested, this will be useful, but everything moves slowly, and with one arrest after another. As for the newspaper... This is what should be done. Subscribe to Ruski Velomosti for yourself. You take the RV anyway and send it to us four to five days later, a couple of times a week. We shall pay for it. You can't get more out of Pravda for its circulation. They say it has fallen 30,000 and things are hard. Send by post to the Vipriad leaflet. I haven't got it. And all those out in Paris. You must arrange without fail for the publication of the COA bulletins. Modest ones for the time being. Listen listing the Paris leaflets and giving a brief review of each. You promised to get something from Yuri and Plekhanov's party report. Nothing has been received so far. Send it. And what did Plekhanov have to say about tea and germ? Yours, Lenin. Okay, yeah. So that's Lenin's letter to L.B. Kamenov, written July 24th, 1912. Well, thank you all for tuning in. You know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Tumblr, Medium. All of these are Marxists, y'all. Y'all can hit me up there. You know, check back in. The, here, the See if we get some more mail coming in. And uh, thank y'all for tuning in, you know. Y'all have a great day. And without a goy.